Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about noise treatment marriage. <clears throat> a little play on words here because there's a lot of confusion out there when it comes to noise. Uh, you, you've all been misled a lot. I, I understand that. Most of the information given on the internet is, is done by people that have never built rooms in their lives. They have no idea what they're doing. They have no idea. You never see frequency and amplitude mentioned. You've never seen ambient levels in noise in, in the neighborhood mentioned. There's no comparison between outside noise and inside noise. So there's a lot of fluff and nonsense out there when it comes to this. But <clears throat> I wanted to use this to get your attention because we have three walls that we have to be concerned about when we're dealing with noise. We have the treatment, which is usually the wall inside the room which is absorption and diffusion. Then we have the BTU wall, which is hot and cold. And then we have this wall, which is our barrier, which is noise. Now, sometimes we can marry these two. Usually they're separate structures, but sometimes we can marry the barrier and the treatment wall together. Now, it depends. You got to get away from all of the, you know, this one thing fits all scenario with acoustics because it just doesn't happen. I can't think of any situation where you use the same approach all the time. So it's all different. And what's it dependent on? Frequency and amplitude. Those are the two variables of both that we have to look at. All three of the walls, the treatment, the BTU, and the noise should be separate structures because we're dealing with vibrational acoustics. We're dealing with vibration transmission. So therefore, we have to have vibration management. So the goal here, if we can isolate these three, not practical in a lot of situations, I get it. Not cost effective in a lot of situations. I understand that also. It doesn't change the physics. That's the human side of it. Don't have money, don't have space. But it doesn't change the physics or the science. The treatment still has its own requirements, right? So we have Three separate structures, usually isolated from each other. <clears throat> you can see the different functions. BTU is airflow, treatment is airflow. And the barrier, the noise, that's vibrational acoustics. So there's times when we can combine that. We do this with our CAW process, where we combine the treatment between the 2 by 12 studs with the barrier, which forms the back wall of the diaphragmatic absorbers between the studs in the CAW system. So the bottom line here is we, we can do it, but it depends on the frequency and amplitude of the noise. Now, as a general rule, <clears throat> noise below 125 cycles is way different in treatment, night and day, between noise above 125. That's why when you sign up for our noise design service, we send you apps, you download them on your phone, and you do a seven-day noise time study because we're trying to create a map a pressure map. On Mondays, it's real, maybe it's really high. On Tuesdays, it's low. Maybe Wednesday, it's in the middle. Look familiar? Frequency response curve, right? So the bottom line is we have to create a pressure map. And then we look at each day, and then we take the maximum pressure on that day, and that forms the, the mins and the maxes for the design. If we design for the loudest day and the lowest frequency of noise, we're good. Everything above it will be treated. But you got to have a picture of what's going on. Or you're guessing. And guessing with noise is foolish. It's a waste of time and money. All right? Everything we do in the barrier <clears throat> and the treatment wall is frequency and amplitude dependent. Think about that for a moment. The absorption and diffusion we use inside the room is frequency and amplitude dependent. With noise, it's frequency and amplitude dependent on the materials we use in the barrier. So it all has to be measured. Combining the two, if you can, is a good way to save space, materials, and labor. And we can do so, uh, all of that. Here is a graphic of, I think, three, wall, three stud spaces with our CAW system and a barrier installed on the outside. So that'll give you an idea of how all that works. So noise treatment walls can be mar married together, depends on frequency and amplitude, 
but we have to understand that they're better with separate structures, allowing each one to perform at its maximum. Noise treatment marriage, hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.